Jamie from Home Ec Express, and in this video, now that we've learned how to do our laundry, we're going to talk about how to fold, iron, and steam clothes and why it's so important for our garments. So let's get started with folding our dry clean clothes. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you some of the basics of folding laundry. And this actually not only helps your clothes not be wrinkled in the drawers, but also uh, saves space when we fold our clothes. So, first of all is underwear. I know everybody likes to giggle with underwear, but we're gonna lay it out flat on our, on our folding surface. We're gonna bring the crotch up to the waistband, and then we're going to fold in half, and then we're gonna bring the edges in and fold it into thirds. And then you're just gonna stack this in your drawer in, ro in rows. Easy to find, everything's ready for you, especially if you like to find certain colors. So that's how we do underwear. Now for t-shirts, um, we do wanna make sure that we're folding our t-shirts. There's nothing worse than wearing a um, t-shirt out and it's just a wrinkled mess. And so we're gonna lay this out. With the, with the front down, we're going to bring in our, our shoulders and sleeves. We're gonna fold the corner of the sleeve down and do the same on the other side. We're gonna fold that down, give it a nice little smooth over, and then we're going to bring the bottom to the neck. And same thing, we're gonna just do one, two, and we have our t-shirt folded and ready to stack in our drawers. I like to do it in color order so it's easy for me to find exactly what color I need to go with my outfit for the day. Okay, so now jeans. There's a couple different ways we can manage our jeans. Now, it depends on how your situation is, if you're using um, a closet and hanging your jeans, or if you need to fold and stack them in a drawer or a shelf. So first, if we're gonna fold our jeans, we wanna button our waistband, and then we're going to take our jeans um, with the front zipper out, we're gonna fold that in half. We're gonna lay this down on a flat surface, we're gonna straighten out our legs, we're gonna pull out the crotch here, and then we're gonna fold the crotch in. We're gonna take the hem of our pants to the top of the waistband, and then we're going to do one, two, if you're doing drawers. If you're doing shelves, you can bring this in and then fold it like this and you're gonna stack them so that this part, the fold, is facing out with a pocket up. So the other thing is how do you fold your, or how do we hang our jeans so they're ready to wear? My preference is to use a wooden hanger and for this, we're actually going to line up our leg seam, so the inseam and the outseam, and we're going to bring those together, and we're going to hold our pants from the hem and allow the weight to straighten this out. Now, back in the old days, back in the 90s and early 2000s, we would have been starching our jeans and creasing them, but that's not in anymore. And then we're gonna just take our nice wooden hanger, and I love these because they're heavy duty. And then we're just going to hang notes just like that. They're ready to wear. So that's the basics of folding our clothes. Saves time, saves wrinkles, saves space. And now we're gonna iron. Okay, you guys, we are back and we're ready to learn a little bit about ironing today. Now, if you don't have an ironing board, that's okay. They do make mats that you can lay on your kitchen table and use that as long as it's something that will protect um, this, the hard surface from the heat and the moisture of the iron. Um, but ironing boards are not very expensive and it's definitely worth the investment and they have all kinds of sizes and shapes for them now. Um, and then I have a nice heavy duty iron here. Um, I highly recommend investing in an iron because your clothes will always turn out so much better and they'll last longer um, when we iron and, and take care of them. So fill it up, there is a fill line on the side here. Most of your irons will come with a little measuring cup. And then what we really need to remember is that there's multiple settings on an iron for the different type of fabrics that you are going to be working with. So if you're ironing something like wool or silk, we need to have the lower settings. 
and our highest settings are used for cotton and linen where they get a little bit more stubborn. All irons will also have the ability to spray water and to help create more steam, but also to, uh, in, to you can push a button for a burst of steam to come out for really stubborn wrinkles. Now, one of the most important things we have to remember is anytime that we're actually not ironing on a garment, your iron needs to be propped up and safe. We don't ever want to just leave it on an ironing board facing down because that's how fires and all that bad stuff happen. A few accessories that you can, and, and tools that you can have for ironing. Um, one of my favorite, especially for men's shirts, is to have um, liquid or spray starch. And this is very handy. You just go ahead and can spray it right, especially on collars and pockets. It works very well. It helps to give it a nice shine. Um, it is a very smooth finish and it actually helps prevent stains from sticking. Um, depending on where you live, you can also get like an anti-static spray. Um, certain times of the year you need that. And then for those of you who really love to iron or you're a seamstress like myself, um, this is called a sleeve roll. It's just, it, you insert it into sleeves just to give you a better surface to iron on. And then this is the infamous pressing ham. And this is for curved seams like hips and shoulders to get a better um, press in there. So those are really for people like myself who are seamstress and we're, we're dealing with the inside construction of a garment. Okay, so we have my very wrinkly shirt here. And I'm first going to iron the collar. So I wanna lay this out nice and flat. My iron is already preheated. And when we are ironing, we want to make sure that the iron is constantly moving. We never let this rest directly on a garment at any time because you can risk damaging the, the fabric, especially if it's a delicate fabric. So now we have a beautiful iron, flat and crispy uh, type of collar. So then, let's move this down just a little bit. We are going to adjust and use the the end of our ironing board and there's a purpose for that angle so that you have better control of your garment and actually let's do let's do this side with the buttons and so we're going to lay out the front of our blouse we have a very wrinkly pocket and then of course buttons the nose of the iron is awesome for getting right up and in between around our buttons so we're just gonna work each one because there's nothing worse when your shirt's really wrinkly and um, nothing is laying flat. And then it, you have the peekaboos with the buttons. That's because we need to be ironing our shirt. Okay, so I'm giving my stubborn pocket a little puff of steam here so that we can get it to be nice and flat and look very finished, okay. There we go, We're just about done. A little bit of tension, a little bit of pull on our fabric is also a good thing. There we go. So now we have taken this to a very beautiful finish on there on our fabric. So that's a little bit of the basics of how to iron. Don't ever be afraid, but just keep the iron moving for safety and for a nice finish on your garment. So let's take a little pause and we'll move over to the garment steamer. Okay, you guys. So finally, we're gonna talk a little bit about steaming. And so not everybody has a full-blown professional garment steamer in their house, but they do make more household user, travel-friendly type of steamers. And steaming is a really quick way to get your wrinkles out of your clothes. And I absolutely love it. I think I use it almost every day for my clothes. So this shirt I just got in and it was obviously folded in, in some kind of packaging and it has some pretty crazy wrinkles on here. And so we have our steamer. It, there's a tank on the bottom that has water, it boils, and it, we've got our steam going here. And the best way to actually do this is to go from underneath the fabric, the fabric here. Okay, and then we're just gonna run the steamer slowly down our garment. And it's kind of one of those things where it's like instant gratification because you can literally watch all your wrinkles 
fall out. And this is a, a rayon blended uh, shirt. And so um, if you have a more stubborn textile, you can just um, do a little bit more tugging and pulling um, to work those wrinkles out. Or you can go directly, especially for pleats like this, you can go directly onto the garment on top as well. Um, if you get little spots of water, that's okay on most fabrics. So you do want to test on your delicates, like silks and things like that, and make sure that the water or the steam will not leave a mark. And then for our sleeves, we're just going to pull it out and we're going to work from the armpit. Whoops all the way out and just let those wrinkles get themselves out and it's absolutely beautiful and it'll be ready to wear so anybody can steam those are just some of the secrets and by the way my friends if you see on here we have those little hanger ribbons those are intended for the marketing or merchandising in the store you can cut those when you get your garment home, or some people like to keep them to keep the weight off of the, the garment, especially if it's a stretchier fabric. So I hope that you guys feel prepared and inspired to take care of your garments from folding, ironing, and steaming so that they look good, they last longer, and it, it makes you feel more confident when you are wearing a nice prepared garment. So I hope that you've learned a lot like and share this video as well as subscribe at homeacexpress.com and make sure you follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Till next time.